But what I want to share with you is the area we have set up under this counter. Now, this is a crating area, believe it or not. And I first got the idea for something like this when I was at a friend's place in Southern California. What I've got is there, you know, traditionally what we used to have in our old house is a, a room where we'd have all the dog crates. If we needed to crate dogs, we'd, we'd put them, but the problem when you have crates in the room, like the doors are open and you run into them and you kick them. And if the dog wants to go in, the crate door might be closed. And plus they're not, they don't look very nice, right? So we have a functional counter here and cubicles. They normally have nice cushy beds in, but for camera, we took them out because, you know, it looks a little classier with just the carpets. The truth is feature and momentum. They take the beds out and they scatter them all over the house and they like to suck on them. All right, that's my personal problem. Here's the thing about these crates. These partitions slide out for cleaning. And also I got the thinking that um, if I had like an, a senior dog that I wanted to crate in and have a bigger area, I could put, you know, make, make two crates into one. I also thought if I had a litter of puppies, I could take all these partitions out and just have, you know, one big crating area. That's never happened, but that was my thought process. So the really cool thing is these doors come down from above. They're just on rollers and they just close the dog in and you can just lift them up and they just go into that little groove. So if I needed to, to lock a dog in, let's say the dog wasn't feeling well um, or for some reason, you know, uh, they get really old. Like sometimes we'll lock de decaf in there with a bone if we don't want the other dogs to bother her while she's chewing a bone. We can just close these off. But when they're open, they kind of look kind of sharp, right? So that's my suggestion for you. If you want to renovate an area of your house where you've got a counter or you've got a little alcove where you can put a counter, build some crates. You know, these don't have to be partitions that pull out on, on yours. I would recommend, I just took an old crate and we cut it up, an old metal crate to make um, ventilation between each of these dividers for the dog so that we get airflow through there. You don't have to make them so that they are, um, can come out, but it's a, it's a great classy way to have your dogs in a comfortable area that's functional for your house as well.